Hi everybody, my name is Tommy Cuevas, your personal cloud engineer here at Velocio, and today I'm going to go ahead and show you how to check out somebody's permissions on your SharePoint site. So, say for instance, uh, you feel like one of your coworkers or one of your team members has access to a site that they shouldn't have access to. Well, it's very easy to find out if they have permissions, whether or not those permissions are given through uh, direct shares in SharePoint, or if it's given via a security group in your Entra ID. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do real quick is I'm gonna share my screen. And as you can see right here, we have our main page of our SharePoint dev environment. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go into my site settings. So I'm gonna go click on settings at the top. I'm gonna to go to site permissions. And since we're going on pro mode, we're going to go to the advanced permission settings. As soon as I pull this up, it's going to go ahead and show my three default SharePoint groups. Now, these are built out whenever you build out a SharePoint environment. There's always the members group, the owners group, and the visitors group. As you see, members have the ability to edit documentation within your SharePoint site. Site owners, Mac Daddy access. They can do whatever they want. They can go ahead and delete things, redesign the site, add and remove permissions, all that wonderful stuff. And then you also have your uh, visitors group. Your visitors group are read-only access. So this is great if you want people to access like templates to documents, being able to read documents, but you don't want anybody to edit them. So right now, uh, my buddy Brian, I'm going to see if Brian has permissions to this site. So I'm going to click on the top bar, which is going to show uh, check permissions. And I'm going to go ahead and click in Brian's name. So let's go ahead and see if Brian has access to this site. So as I start um, typing in, it starts populating through my Active Directory. I'm going to go ahead and click on his name. I'm going to click check now. So I have found out that Brian has been given access to the SharePoint site, he's able to edit documentation, and it's given through the Velocio Demo Site Members Group. If it was a SharePoint, I'm sorry, a Active Directory group, it would go ahead and list those Active Directory groups and how those permissions are given, and the kind of permissions that are, uh, uh, that he has access to. So is he an owner? Is Does he have the ability to edit documentations? Or does he have read-only access or contributor access or designer access? But this is a quick, easy way to find out uh, who has permissions to your SharePoint site. Generally, this is the first place I check if somebody has access to documentation that they're not supposed to have access to. Also, this is where I check to see, well, Bob can't get in. Bob needs access. Why doesn't Bob have access to the SharePoint site? This is one of the first things that I check. Uh, whenever I'm looking at permission issues within my SharePoint environment. My name is Tommy Cuevas, your personal cloud engineer here at Velocio. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you do have any questions around SharePoint, OneDrive, or Teams, or really anything within the Microsoft stack, please feel free to reach out to us here at Velocio. Thank you.